another door. More delightful individuals await us on the other side, I assume. Uh, let me handle it. Piece of cake. Miss, your hairstyle is really strange. <laughs> is that so? I think it looks really cool. Take a closer look if you don't believe me. Your hair sticks out from your head, and you wear spiky things in it. Nobody else has hair like that. Well, you're looking at it the wrong way. If I don't look like anybody else, once you've seen me, you won't be able to forget me, even if you try. You'll still recognize me if you ever see me again in the future. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Your clothes, hair, even the way you walk and talk. It's not just for the eyes of others. It's your style. So you should go with whatever you like. Really? But if I wore a jacket with a picture of a puppy on it, people would say, hey, little Faye likes stupid little puppies. Then you should ignore them. So, you like puppies, huh? I do. What about your friends? Well, yeah, they do too. <laughs> well, then your friends are gonna love that jacket. Okay. Uh, miss, how come you don't do your hair in a nice braid? People would love that. No, oh, I can't help myself. I just like the styles with personality. Ah, plus, I had no idea how so many people would dislike it before I started wearing my hair like this. So, why don't you change it now? Well, this hairstyle suits my music and my lifestyle. The regular ones are boring. They're so uninspired. Plus, they get in the way when I'm head bobbing away on stage. <laughs> if people don't like it, that's up to them. I ain't gonna change it. What about your friends? Do they not like it too? Of course they like it. They all say that they think it looks amazing. Your friends are nice to you. That's cool. Not like my friends. They left me here on my own. <laughs> oh, hey, hey now. Why are you crying? What's wrong? You can talk to me. Little Lulu and little Mung, they're ignoring me. We were gonna meet at the docks today, but they still haven't shown up. These kids are way too young to be standing each other up like this. No. Oh. Stay right here, I'll go take a look around. I'll bring them to you once I find them. O okay. Thanks, miss. I'll never say anything bad about your hair again. See, now you're talking sense. I'll see you later. Excuse me, are you Little Mung? Little Faye is waiting for you at the docks. He's been waiting so long now that he's in tears about it. Oh, why is he so dumb? He could have just come here and found us. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll go find him instead. He ran off. We should catch up to him. Uh, excuse me, are you little Lulu? Are you looking for me, miss? Didn't you promise to meet little Faye at the docks? Why aren't you going to meet up with him? He's crying because he thinks you've abandoned him. Huh? Oh, that silly dum-dum. Why didn't he just come to look for us? We prepared a surprise gift for him. A surprise gift? How strange. You dum-dum, we were preparing a surprise gift for you. We didn't think that you wouldn't come to try and find us, and definitely didn't think you'd start crying about it. I'm sorry for being such an idiot. No, I'm sorry. You're not an idiot. I guess we shouldn't have been so secretive about it. We didn't come to the docks to meet you because we wanted to give you a big surprise for your birthday. Huh? This is... We brought you loads of yummy lotus heads! And here's a handwritten birthday letter from me and Lulu, too. Uh, please don't call our handwriting ugly, okay? <laughs> you guys! <laughs> Thanks.
Thank you. <sighs> and all's well that ends well. It was all just a misunderstanding. Well, sometimes that's just what friends do. If my friends had ditched me to plan a surprise, I'd have gotten upset too. Is that a hint for us to prepare a surprise for you too? Very clever. No! I was just speaking my mind. <laughs> I know. I was just joking, seeing if I could give you a fright. Uh, everyone? Paimon's hungry. It's almost lunchtime, so how about we have lunch at my house? It's not far from here. So, even your house is in this mirage? <laughs> yep, I just noticed. There's the same road in here as the one that leads to my house in real life. Even though we're in a mirage, I reckon some things will always remain the same. In real life, after a bad quarrel with the neighbors or a disappointing show, the one place I'll always go is my house. Because, well, everyone has to go home eventually. <laughs> <laughs>